Good evening, Possibility War fans. We are continuing uh, tonight's battle against the Were Tiger from last week. Uh, our intrepid adventurers have been slogging through the jungle and have finally come to an open canopy area. And uh, the the full moon came out, and the Were Tiger went nuts. Um, I'm not going to tell you more than that. You'll just have to find it out in tonight's show. Uh, speaking of that, we are still in the one-act adventure, Journey to the Dark Heart, and I've managed to extend it like I normally do. Um, I, I'm not going to apologize about that. It's good to throw in uh, extraneous things every so often. Uh, and we are continuing in Scene 2, Perilous Trek. And our uh, adventurers have indeed been going through kind of a perilous trek though mostly up until now it's been all about feelings uh, and uncomfortable being in the area and uh, the the, the law, world law of Rorsch, uh concerning uh, the, I believe it's the law of catharsis uh, it, it makes you feel things are not quite where they're supposed to be. Was it catharsis? Or, no, it's the law of the uncanny. Sorry, I do that every so often. In fact, I do it more often than I care, care to. Um, let's see. Everything in Rorsch is quote-unquote off, strange, and it's hard for the players to fathom it, even if it's like spinning a possibility to have something change on the fly or slipping through different realities to choose a favorable one. Uh, this should be used to unsettle the knights, to make them feel as though they've lost time, and there's no real reason why. So, as they continue to fight against this um, uh, were-tiger in the, the jungles between uh, Tezpur, Assam, and the uh, temple of the Destiny map, at least what they believe is the Destiny map, um, in an actual tiger sanctuary, uh, in, it, it's a real-world tiger sanctuary that they are involved in, even if they're only visiting it virtually. Um, well, without going on any further, let me go ahead and, uh, and pause this, and then we'll get into the adventure shortly. So, getting back to uh, where we were last week, I had this adventure archive opened, and then I closed it. Why did I do that? Because I'm a knucklehead. Okay, let's see. So you're in scene two, Perilous Trek. Okay, does uh, anybody want me to reread the setup from last week or just carry on? Okay. Uh, could you reread it? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, it, it's not much reading, so it won't take long. The dense green jungle once enclosing you now stretches away as far as the eye can see, sloping gently upward into the foothills of the Himalayas. Having trekked through the jungles of the living land one or more times and in different locations now, you know how different the jungle here is. The living land may be deadly, but its jungles allow for light to come in from above, something you have not seen for two days until this morning here. A cacophony of living, breathing sounds fills your ears as you enter the moist undergrowth, including noises similar to, but slower and longer than those you experienced on your journey from Chittagram to Tezpur, Assam. Nothing ever reveals itself, though, uh, though these noises are a constant companion, menacing your steps, and after two days of travel by beast and on foot, you cannot shake the feeling your progress is being monitored by, monitored by a thousand watchful eyes. Now, let's go ahead and catch up from last week. Um, uh, let me close that. I am going to start with uh, with Chris, because Remington wasn't here last week, regrettably, and he needs to be caught up. Privet. Yes. Sorry for missing out. Uh, no problem. So, I, I did say I missed a little bit, but from what I gathered, uh, the... Uh, we were traveling. We got to this area of the forest. It's currently storming. Uh, our travel guide went ahead or got separated from us. And now we're dealing with the were tiger after I did a good uh, uh, perception check. We'll find roll and noticed a uh, tiger off in the distance all the way over by the end of the path. If you guys saw that flicker up there. 
Otherwise, that's all I really remember, other than doing some fear tests and to uh, not be afraid of the were tiger that's right in front of us uh, up here. There you go. And that were tiger is, of course, huge. Um, pieces. Did you like the picture I put in uh, Discord? Uh, let me take a look. Uh, uh, from oh. last week. Okay, that's DC Survival Kits. What did I do here? Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? I think I, know I exactly where that picture's from too. I let me see if this will reload. It doesn't reload. I'm gonna have to reload Discord. Um, uh oh. Yeah. Oh no, no. I've got Discord right there. What am I looking at here? Hold and on, then there's possibility worse. Okay, it must have opened a, a different uh, thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Uh, let me let me show our our studio audience. Let me. Uh, does that take the game off pause? No, that takes the game off pause. No, nobody move around until it's time. Uh, and I know what I'm doing. No, really. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> that's a good song. So uh, right. that wear tiger right there uh, is is almost exactly what you're looking at, just not with the cartoon elements. Because it's right. a Rorsch, everything has to be dark and deadly. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that it was very a very dark and deadly uh, show. Was it? Uh, if very. At home, who wants to know what image I'm talking about? I'm, it's uh, Garfield from ReZero, uh, in his were tiger form. That's such a dark show. Yes, it is a dark show. Uh, I I haven't mm -hmm. watched a whole lot of anime uh, recently. Okay, I'm switching back to the game. And uh, and we're we're gonna carry on. That that is a really good picture, though. Um, oh yeah, perfect for the scene. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, peaches. Do you agree or do you remember something more? Well, I think we just come to the conclusion that uh, there was a little hunter's blind nearby. A little and uh, uh, and sandal imprints of our guide. I think that leaping tiger mm -hmm. up north took off with our guide. Damn it. So uh, we need to uh, get rid of this particular tiger expeditiously so we can go rescue our friend. Okay. All right. You lost um, someone. Yeah, we lost our guide. We've got to... No, um, I meant like in the Discord. I thought I heard someone disconnect. Uh, uh, yes, you did. Yep. But he's back. So from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not starting that. I'm not starting that. I'm not starting you, that. You said that out loud. Oh. I admit I thought it. <laughs> uh okay so, go ahead uh, there's a reason why we're friends anyway uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah th this tiger's got to go i spent the last round loading uh regular ammunition for silver and uh i am this this round when we start i'm gonna get up into a uh, i'm actually going to try to get up closer and into a point blank uh position and uh see if i can't Get this tiger, get rid of this flea bag so that we can go after the real threat that has our guide. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, we'll we'll handle that in a few minutes. Darius, do you have anything to add? Um, not that hasn't already been stated, apart from the fact that a lot of us are fairly certain that the were tiger is our guide. Oh! Uh, because... <laughs> what? But uh, he seemed like such a nice guy. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that doesn't mean anything in Aurora. Uh, that's that's very very true. Uh, so um, I, I'm sure you're going to find one other person at the very least here uh, who 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 uh, came up with that last week. He was very insightful. <laughs> Justin. Yes. You were very insightful last week about who the Were Tiger is. So, uh, if there are more than a few of you who think that he was the Were Tiger, uh, I, in story terms, I couldn't tell you, but uh, I'm also not going to sit there and, and just lead you on. But it does ruin part of what I was going to do this evening. So, thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh. So yeah, if we kill it, <laughs> yeah, 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 
yeah, that that would be pretty bad. But that I'm going to try everything in my power to not let you kill it. So, um, uh, but that may cost one of you your lives. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to eat us. If well, it yeah. were trying to get away, um, we wouldn't be all hot to put it down. Yeah, that's true. Like the rabid flea bag, it is. Bad kitty. <laughs> Bad kitty. Bad, bad kitty. <laughs> bad kitty. Uh, uh, if it wasn't a Rorsch, I'd say that might actually work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rios? Anything to add? Um, not particularly. Okay. Uh, Katsumi? Uh, I, 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 we already gave up the, the ghost about the uh, guide being the were-tiger. You came up with it brilliantly last week and kept trying to press me. So uh, that is uh, that. That's you. You were right. <sighs> Not one more. P, uh, one more good guess. As huh? well, if you were. Talking. Yes. Yes, you did. Um, is anybody going to say out loud that that is our guide? Because you know I'm operating under the assumption that um, it. It's partner eight or took off with our guide. Well, let me let me stop anybody from from speaking on that subject further. If you want to shout out a kind of a short warning or a short supposition or anything like that, that's fine. But you are in the middle of combat. It is you guys turn, but you are in the middle of combat. So anyone want to shout that out? Okay. Um, Take a second and figure out what you might say. Does anyone remember his name? Yes, his name is Tajardi. Tajardi. Very nice. All right. But the, well, the, the question is because it was wh whether or not any of us know that in character. Right, who would uh, know that it was him? Well, again, again, if if it's a player supposition, it's something that could be shared through the character, okay? Because you are playing your character. You are of basically one mind, as it were. Uh, so if if you have a supposition, the the thing is, how would you how would you address address that supposition? Okay, otherwise you can just kind of keep it to yourselves as players and just role play through it as, as you think. Is that fair yeah. enough? Yeah, fair enough. Okay, all right. Um, so, uh, Toma, you are the last one. I'm, I'm going to kind of briefly explain what happened last week. Um, uh, Tajardi did disappear. Uh uh, matter of fact, let me kind of get you guys back to where he disappeared. Shift. There we go. Kind of where that arrow is was the last time that you guys saw him. Because this trail that you're on between these small rock and short rock in, in, embankments uh, goes back around to what would be your left as you're facing the south edge of the map. Okay. So Peaches was in the lead. Um, somebody may have been up there with her. I, I don't know. I, I can't remember what, how I arranged folks. Um, but, uh, Tajardi in his haste to get to the, the temple, which you all saw as you were coming out on the top of the hill, uh, as you were coming around the corner, um, all of a sudden was, uh, you know, without sound and trackless. Um, so all of you basically became defensive, and then when Yon Beastie here had uh, began its attack, um, uh, that's when you all became defensive. Now, Toma has a minus four uh, penalty, um, uh huh, not stymied, vulnerable. Okay, has a minus four vulnerable penalty because that's what happens when you fail your fear test. And I rolled for you to, to do your fear test. Now, none of you have acted. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Peaches did act. She is reloading her weapon. 
Darius and um, Katsumi acted as well. Darius cast enha the enhanced uh, uh, spell for dexterity. Yeah. And all of you should be able no, to look. That was... Oh, that was Katsumi. No, Ward that... enemy. Right. Yeah. And... I cast Ward enemy. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Um, if you if you all want to check your character sheets and look at the effects tabs, you will see those um, uh, bonuses on your effects tab. Okay, for enhance and uh, ward enemy, uh, the wear tiger is considered to be supernatural evil, so that's why ward enemy will work for you guys. Okay. Uh, also, you you will ha you will notice that you will have bonuses to dexterity and defenses because of those two spells, or uh, the one spell and the one miracle. Ward enemy is a miracle, right? Yeah, ward Correct. enemy is a miracle. Oh, trying to keep all this stuff in my head is is amazingly difficult sometimes. It leaks a lot. Um, so. Yes, while the Were Tiger, while the Were Tiger has the same minus two penalty for darkness, all of you have, it also has a bonus of two for Cloak of Darkness. So oh, two, uh, two, yeah, two various things. Uh, matter of fact, let me pop him open. There you go, Ward Enemy. That's all of you can kind of read that. Let me pop this guy open. And see if Cloak the important of part is the third paragraph. While the ward is active, all allies add plus one to their defenses. The uh, and then um, I did get an outstanding, so it's uh, plus two to all defenses. And if he attacks and misses, also, uh, you fail an attack against any of the protected individuals, then he becomes stymied. Wait a nice, minute. thank Wait you. A oh. No, wait a minute. You just cast it. His failed attack against Rios was before you cast or before you invoked Ward Enemy. That is so, correct. Okay, so he doesn't have the minus two penalty right now. No. Okay. Or that'll be for next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so here's what we've got. Um, Oh, and, and and we know that Katsumi cast um, uh, Enhance, and it was Dexterity, and I believe it was a plus two? Uh, plus one. Plus, oh, okay, plus one. And, uh, uh, yeah, and that can go all the way up to plus three. Now... Uh, if you if you open up your enhance tab and open your dexterity and uh, the enhance spell dexterity and then go to the effects uh, header on that one, you will see a whole bucket load of dexterity skills have bonuses. Now, there's uh, the people at the, the folks at Ulysses Spieler who wrote the game have often said that just because you get a bonus to an attribute does not mean you get a bonus to all skills, but that it would be pointed out with the, with the attribute enhancement if you, if you were not allowed to have skills, uh, uh, get, have bonuses because of the bonus to the attribute. Well, ward enemy and enhance uh, dexterity do not have that listed uh, in their reading, to the best of my knowledge. Word enemy, let's see, the caster, that, that does all defenses, okay? And then, uh, let's see, let's go ahead. Oh, uh, hang on, Katsumi. No, I need powers and enhance. And let's see, spell enhances a single attribute of the caster and or allies by plus one. Uh, multiple allies may be enhanced at the same time so long as all within range of the caster use the multi-target penalty. Now, I had to rewrite this because I felt that the original writing was very vague. So I've got the house rule down there. 
uh, that says this is pretty vague, so I'm changing it to read for multi-targeting, take the highest attribute value in the group as the base difficulty number for casting the spell, then compare the number of targets the caster is attempting to include in the spell on the combined actions chart to determine any additional penalty for casting. If the test does not at least uh, equal the calculated difficulty number, no one gains the benefit, including the caster, and it counts as a failed casting for shock purposes. Um, so now this one says if the caster increases strength or spirit, it does not also increase toughness or shock. So I believe I did not include uh, toughness or shock. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. No, I did not. So I'm 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 still in line with with how this thing reads. Okay. Besides, uh, I keep hearing on the the Delphi Council briefing videos each week that it's my universe, mine, mine, and uh, and that's that. So uh, now, Katsumi, you will notice that you have three other enhancements that you can do in the inactive. Uh, portion of your effects tab okay those are so they can be shared when you use them with others okay you can they can just be dragged straight over to their character sheets um, which is a really neat feature now again Katsumi, Peaches, and Darius have acted um, so that leaves Toma, Rios, Chris, and Andon the, out of the four of you what action or actions would you like to take and in what order now that you've been enhanced? Um, well, are Andon and I still pretty much on the dirt? Um, no, you managed to get up and, and scurry away. But that was only movement. Okay. Now, Andon yeah. is in fear, so he's got a penalty of minus four to... Uh, uh, for vulnerability, which will end at the end of his uh, action, which reminds me, uh, let's see, Katsumi, okay, you don't have any penalties, uh, Peaches, no penalties, except for the, the Dim, Darius, no penalties, okay, so we're good to go. <sighs> So, mm -hmm. talk to me. What do we got going on? Excuse my terrible English. Well, I still English. want to try to lift him up from the ground. Okay. With my telekinesis. Okay. Do you, are, do you guys have anything that you might want to use from your character to help others? Which would mean that you would need to go first like Katsumi and Darius did. Uh, and Peaches, you're reloading. So... You'll be helping yeah. next turn. <laughs> Can one reload and aim in the same turn? No. Okay. No, because, <laughs> yeah, the, the weapon is actually away from you so that you can reload it. You're not looking through the sights or anything, so aiming cannot be done. And, oh, you know what? Here's something else that I forgot to do. Um, so while the, the three players that have yet to go in this turn are thinking... Um, the card is, for, as a reminder, the fire hungers. An appropriate portion of the map, GM's call, ignites and begins burning as a bonfire. Now, the bonfire hasn't touched you guys yet. But you, once you're done with the were creature, uh, the were tiger, you may be running from flames. Uh, what I will do is at the beginning of, well, at the end of this turn, um, I will go ahead and, and make a roll uh, to find out if anyone gets touched by fire or close enough to get burned, and we'll go from there, okay? Uh, and I'll have to keep a track on that. So that is living... Uh, why is that living land instead of a Rorsch? I'll have to look at that in a minute. Uh, okay. So it is a dramatic round because the were creature is uh, supernatural evil. So all of you were fatigued, which all of you should have taken two, uh, two points of shock. Uh, you can double check your character sheets if you want to, but you get to go first. The, uh, the approved actions are intimidate and maneuver. Um, 
and see okay we're good there I don't think any of you have earned any cards yet for intimidate or maneuver and we are not in a dramatic skill resolution so you don't have to worry about that all right <laughs> now <I have> a... <laughs> what I'm sorry I'm just thinking to myself of a very stupid intimidation idea well <laughs> that's all just love myself i'm sorry it, it could be amazingly stupid but it could also work so this is torg um okay so yeah if it's cinematic do it yeah yeah exactly if, if it could be considered it. cinematic why not if it's a joe yeah. pesci moment you know we'll all laugh and and you might get a possibility out of it um so fair enough uh, so toma chris rios and andon what are we doing? Uh, um, Where so is that stupid. at? <laughs> right. So my stupid idea is I reach to the muddy ground, take some mud, slather on my face, pull my Zane slashes, and I just roar at the top of my lungs, <laughs> trying to intimidate a way or tiger that's much bigger than me. Okay. Well, intimidation well, is an approved action at this turn. There, there is a puddle Sweet. that you could get, might get some mud from. So sure, um, okay. but Put I'm your paint on. But I, th I think I'm gonna call. Well, I'm not sure if I would call that a free action or not. Let's let's just go with it for the sake of cinematics. The rule of cool. Core rules, page okay. one twelve. I, I took a screenshot and put it in Discord. Sure. Oh, okay. Dar Darius, Andon, Rios, Katsumi, you need to uh, take two shock because heroes are fatigued. Yep, okay. I, I put mine in. Okay, if uh, okay, Gordon just posted something in the uh, in the Discord chat. Uh, fatigue, I guess, actually happens at the end of your turn, not the end of the round, but the end of each individual turn. So, yeah, because right. I, I believe the point is that. Even if, even on a fatigue round, you can still do something if the fatigue was going to knock you out. So rather than the fatigue happening first and, and you getting KO'd, you can still do something. The, then the fatigue happens at the end of your turn, and then if you were to get knocked out, you would still be able to do something. Okay, so okay. we don't have to put it in right away? You you don't have to put it in right now, but I... Just I, don't forget it. Just don't forget it. I, I think the biggest problem with that kind of rule is that nobody remembers at the end of the round. So... Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I just went ahead and put mine in because I know I'll probably forget. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 was, yeah I was doing the same thing. Yeah, okay. and I'm, I'm good on, uh, you know, shock right now. So it's like I don't need to worry about it. Okay. To what time of the round? Okay. So, so that's what I thought. Do you want to do your intimidation first? Just sure. in case you work. It we'll works. See how well it goes. Yeah. I think that's an awesome idea. Roar right at that tiger. Okay. Sure, so you don't you don't fear it. All right. So let me sure understand. Us. Let me understand something. You're gonna try and rush at it and attack it while intimidating. Oh no! I wasn't gonna attack it. You're just going to yep. look really mad. Gonna... And... <laughs> yeah, just... I'm going to put them out of my face, pull out my Zen slashes, and just roar at the top of my lungs at this gigantic thing. <laughs> yeah, you was just going to puff up and screech at it like a cat fight would. Okay, uh, move your move your token where you're going to move it, and, uh, and then roll for your intimidation. Okay, I'm just going to step forward at least one. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going to be the uh, DN? For this one um oh uh let me look at its intimidation oh wait a minute i'm on the wrong i'm on the wrong thing oh man it's good to see families getting out walking their dogs again i'm responsible for that because nobody was walking their dogs before i started walking maverick okay so let's see revolution revolution okay <laughs> all right your target number is a 16 because its intimidation oh. is a 16. boy here we go. Yeah. First night back. Okay, that. Oh, 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 ooh. Action total of 10. Oh, I have that's. An action card. Uh huh. Can I play that well, still? An action card is only going to give you a plus three. Okay, do you have a hero or a drama card, or do you want to spend ooh. one of your six remaining possibilities? possibilities? I, I'll just do a possibility. I think that'd probably be my better chance. 
Let me go ahead and reduce that first. Oh! Here we go. Uh, okay. And cross my... Yes. We'll, 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 we'll get to this in just a minute. Gordon just put something else in there that even I wasn't made aware of, and I'm the leader of the Tor game system team. Wait, you didn't know that? I didn't know that. So we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. They never told me that. It's not in any video that I have ever seen uh, that Matt made. Okay, so uh, you say you're spinning a possibility. Go ahead and click on the possibility. Please, 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 please. On please, the card. Please. Not bad. Okay. Yes, Ooh. Success. <laughs> okay. Better than nothing. <laughs> so that is enough, just enough, to get either a, um, a stymie or a vulnerable. Hmm. What do you think, y'all? Trump causes him to have less ability to uh, uh, tag us in an attack. Stymied, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, stymied, yes. stymied is the one Stym that reduces his skills. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say that um, because of the ward enemy, he may end up stymied anyway. So I would choose vulnerable. Because the more effects we can stack on him, the better. Well, but think about this for a second. If he is stymied and then he misses an attack, he becomes very stymied. Yeah. Well, I think that's just going to carry over to his next turn uh, staying stymied. He will just be in a loop. Right. But just imagine this. Say he misses on his next turn. He would go down to a regular stymie, but he would still have that stymie. We want to keep him down as long as possible. I think it's it, it stacks stymies because then he can't hit anybody for for anything, and it keeps being stymied as long as your ward enemy is in effect. Stymied it is. So it, okay. Um, so let me and hang on just a second and stymie. Okay. So he now has a minus four penalty to strike. Uh, but his his again his cloak of darkness is still there, so and and before I attack I will be studying this creature again. My biggest fault in our game is that I have not been using creatures to their fullest effects, so that has kind of actually robbed you guys of being put in deeper danger that forces you to think more to get out of it. So my creatures have been too easy to this point, and I'm going to try and get out of that. Um, and I know it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so very good roll, Remy. Um, he does have his stymie. And that is your action. Very nicely done. And you get a card. Uh, Yay! So not a Cosm card, Yay, just a it. destiny. Yeah. I, yeah. I knew not Cosm. I, I may not have been here for a week, but I remember at least quite a few things. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, so Chris Rios and Andon. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's somebody's turn. I'll I'll go. Okay, Chris, what do you want to do? You want to try and lift him up, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I get a reaction to this or not? Let me kind of study just for a moment. Uh, do 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 do. Um, do 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 do. Ooh. Uh, okay. I think I remember you saying something about, about like, oh, just so to make it a bit fair, we we're doing like a post strength or something like that. Uh, no, not a post strength. Uh, the difficulty number is going to be a minimum of 12, which I, I know that you can overcome because you've got 16s. Um, but, uh, I need to figure out, let's see, does willpower work against psionics? Let me see something. But he would have to know that it's coming to uh, see. I just want to make sure that I'm I'm getting the best effect that I possibly can. Uh, see, 77. No, not 77. 79. Okay, so further than that, uh, 
willpower is mental discipline used to resist fear in certain magical, psionic, or spiritual attacks. Non-player characters also use willpower to resist persuasion attempts based on an emotional appeal. It can be used actively in a contest or as a defense. Okay, so this will probably be a defense. Um, so let's see. What is his willpower? Willpower is 14. So use his willpower instead of his mass. So it will be a 14 as a target number. Um, let's see. He's being lifted into the air, but does he have the ability... Is he going to have the ability to reach out and grab something to keep himself from flying too far off the ground? Uh, I need psionics. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I can get into your character sheet and read the doggone thing. Uh, Do you want me to put put it in chat? Uh, you know what? If you want to, that would be fine. And do Okay, tell me to... Size mind is her strength, his or her strength. Once activated, but she continues to use her own skills as usual. So I can use telekinesis to fly, assuming her, okay. So I may also run. Okay, it doesn't say anything about being able to use willpower as a defense, but it doesn't say he can't either. So Right, because it's meant more on you or objects around you than on other people. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they, those objects typically don't have willpower, um, right? So I've been, I've honestly been trying to come up with a defense against you lifting everyone off the ground and crunching them down. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. Wait a minute, that's not gonna make any difference. He is right next to the rocks. So here's the deal. I want you to roll your telekinesis. If you get an outstanding success, you can lift him wherever you want to take him. Okay, um, but it's obviously only going to be about you know a few meters off the ground. Okay, um, but it, uh, he will try and grab something and will lose control of it uh, on an outstanding success. On a good success. Um, uh, his... He's going to have a penalty of something because he needs to hold himself onto the ground. Well, yeah. He, yeah. As a matter of fact, it'll almost be like a concentration penalty. In fact, I'm, I might just make it a vulnerable penalty because you'll be making him vulnerable. Okay, Peaches. Uh, you'll be making him... If you make him vulnerable, it's because he's trying to hold on to stuff and kind of losing his grip. But if you only roll a standard success or a failure... Um, he is able to hold himself to the ground and will still be able to attack or move by the end of the by the end of uh, by the time it's time for him his turn. Blah. So fair enough. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, go ahead and roll your telekinesis. Uh, it says it's an easy eight, but you're go actually going against a fourteen for mass and willpower. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a standard success. So he's hold on. <laughs> take a look at my card and your possibilities. <laughs> yeah. Do you want? You know what? I'll spend the possibilities. I'll have. I kind of have them to burn. Okay. You want to reduce it yourself, or you want me to? You did it. Yep. Okay. I just did it. Okay. Burn, baby, burn. Holy crap. Okay, so it's an outstanding Ooh. success. Um, now, bear in mind, he does have a value 12 mass. He's, he's over 500 pounds. So, um, the, you know, lifting him high may not be all that easy. Right. Okay, but so you can I, lift him from the ground. Yeah, I imagine I reach out. Mm -hmm. Like to lift him, realize he's not as light as I thought he was because of you know of how fast he was moving around and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then I just pretty much dig, you know, dig my heels in and then just lift up. 
as okay. hard as I can. So he's now up in the air, vulnerable. Okay. Now you've got uh, you actually yeah yeah um, with an outstanding success. Uh, it's actually kind of a player's call. You you still have to kind of stick within a logical cinematic means, but you've got 13 points over him. Okay. Um, so that is, that is pretty good. What do we do here? Um, so I say I can get him up at, let's say 10 meters. Cause that's my move. But as long as I don't move this turn. Okay. Add plus four to the uh, powers effective strength. Uh, let me pop you open and see what your strength, your that mind would is. I would have a 14. So 14. So that gives you a measure of 600. Um, wow. I almost had you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I went into this realm of superhuman. <laughs> You you can lift him probably about eight meters off the ground. Okay, it's not okay. enough to drop him well, uh, and he ignores shock because he's relentless. But uh, you do have him lifted up in the air. Are you just going to hold him there? Uh, yeah, for now. Okay. Uh, in that case, Rios, you and Andon, it's up to you. All right. Um, uh, Connor, are you trying to keep him alive or just hold him in place until you like try to find a way to calm him down? Uh, right now, I've gotten up in the air, and from what you know of what I do with people in the air, the next round is him going to go higher. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> well. I think I'm just going to hand you my silver necklace and say, you want this? I already have a silver knife. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, then. Well, Who needs silver when you have a tough body? Right. If you think you can, I'll leave it to you. I think I'm going to turn to Andon, and would I be able to make a persuasion roll to calm him down? Get rid of his uh, fear. Okay. And maybe get him to transform back into Tajardi? Is that what you're trying to do? No, she's she's talking to she's talking about Andon to maybe make him be able to act. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sitting here trying to concentrate on what I can do with this tiger to stymie all of you. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Well, I could try and calm down Tajardi. You know that it's worth a shot. <laughs> well, um if if you were going after Andon, that's fine. You you can uh, I don't think you're going to be able to persuade him down. I mean, she is the lady with the silver tongue, though. Yeah, yeah. you have the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> you should just try to, you should try to uh, insult him or something. Stymie. When you... Uh, well, he's it? already in the air. He's fairly stymied, I take it. No, well, well, vulnerable. Make, make, yeah, make fun of him. Uh, what is that taunt? Do you use your charisma for a good taunt? Good call on bad kitty. Hey, taunting's <laughs> my job. <laughs> I thought intimidate was your job. I'm the one that looks for a fight. I do whatever I need to. I <laughs> could definitely give taunting him a try. Oh, yeah. It'll make him stymied or vulnerable or both. Or, or you know, even more so than he already is. It's not like he can pounce on anybody hanging helplessly in the air like a kitten. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's up to you. Yeah, I think I'm going to taunt him while he's in the air. Okay. See what you can do. Now, he, he's very vulnerable because he's being held up in the air by telekinesis. Okay, there, there's nothing he's going to be able to do with that. So the best you're going to be able to do is get him to very stymied. So That'll all, work. All you need is a good success. And uh, you're trying to taunt him, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oops. It just so happens that he actually has a low uh, defense in that. 
So it's a, it's a standard difficulty. Look, look at you, poor kitty, stuck in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> So, All right, standard difficulty. You're yep, rolling. Roll it. The mocking taunt. Uh, wow. Yep, yep, you got him. So he is now very stymied instead of normally stymied. <laughs> okay, so he's now got like massive problems going on. Um, well, he's, a, he's about to have a shotgun problem, too. Oh no! Well, He's next turn, yes, yes, he is, he is probably going to have a very bad day. That's for certain. Um, now, let me. I need to roll. Would it be willpower? Yes, yes, it would. So he's got to roll versus this to kind of overcome. I don't think he's going to be able to. Oh. Okay, so he's very uh... angry. He is very vulnerable and he is very stymied, but he's not yet out of the fight. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, but I'll have to figure out what I can what I can do uh, to kind of get him out of the position he's in, because it's not like telekinesis. Not like they've written rules for telekinesis that uh, can allow you to break free of it. Um, so I'm. I'm not sure you can. Okay. Um, so that is Rios. Very nicely done. And what about Andon? Thank you. Is he just going to uh, be there out of his mind? I think so. Honestly, that minus four penalty, even if we are in our home cause, um, I worry about the consequences. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna kind of end the round here, and I'm gonna take that very vulnerable off. Oh wait a minute, it's at the end of his turn, but it's not the end of the round because that were tiger uh, still gets to try to do something. I'm not sure what. Let me read. Uh, let's see, that's not gonna help. Grr, grr. Yes, that is what the wear tiger says. <laughs> Are you sure it's not beep 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 beep? Uh, sorry. sorry. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you all might be more it. incentive to kill this guy. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know, shock. Huh? Could he? I could try it. I don't think it's going to help. Uh, huh. I wonder if he could try to break free. Would this be treated like a grapple? I, yeah, I guess that, that would make, I guess it would. He's not fully in the air yet. He There's vegetation, rocks he can grab onto to help him. Yeah. All right, so grappling. I've got it here. I know I've got it here. I just have to find it. Grappling. Okay, unarmed combat test. Melee weapons may be used instead. So he would need to make an unarmed combat test. Um, and it's going to be versus a 14. Okay. All right. So, oh, oh, oh I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, so he is going. Uh, okay, who's getting a hold of me now? Oh, Chris. Okay. Uh, so he is going to roll an unarmed combat test. Um, he's got his penalties. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's versus a target number 14. He was not running. No multi action penalty. You know what? He is going to do a multi-action because Chris was not uh, was not put in fear before. He's actually going to put some fear to it, and he's automatically going to throw a possibility at it. 
which is not going to work anyway. That's going to suck. <laughs> and oh, look at that! <laughs> Two fives. Are you okay. kidding me? So, so he he goes to try and intimidate you, and because of um, uh, Rios uh, taunting. Uh, he starts out with a really nice <laughs> he starts out trying to roar and and then Rios gets his attention uh, and he ends with a whimper um, yeah. he, he's scruffed like a kitten ha <laughs> ha about that time okay, oh this could be interesting about that time the uh, the moon is covered by clouds. Oh, and I've got to I've got to get all this stuff back in order. Uh, did this? Oh, hold on. Uh, where is? Oh, where's my guy? Okay. Hold on. Did I put him in the wrong spot? Uh. Uh oh, I think I put his his actual picture in the in a different spot. Uh, uh oh. Uh, let's see, allies? Did I put it into allies? I did not. Where did it go? I think I have to. I think I have to load it up again. So, uh, Rush. Oh no, there it is. Okay. So, select file. One. One and let's see vision light resources uh, okay update the token um and let me update that also okay so